I have seen uh, Japanese cockroaches. <laughs> Sophie Lavoie has not been working long at the federal complex, but long enough to know her cockroaches. I took a picture and with the app I was able to identify really? the, the bug that was walking on the desk. The federal government commissioned air quality tests. All but 20 of the 260 workers surveyed reported some symptom. One in 10 reported being treated for a respiratory illness. One in 20 reported an immune system related illness. Last fall, one of their unions circulated a petition to tell government the situation is urgent. The union released this video, a bat flying above the heads of workers. Bats and their droppings have been a problem for years. Dr. Jennifer Armstrong has treated some of the workers at the Terrasse de la Chaudière, and she says the biggest culprit is likely not the bats. I would say all of the symptoms you just mentioned could come from mold. Dr. Armstrong says the clue is in the survey itself, where a third of workers say they have seen visible signs of water damage. But mold is not being tested until next summer. And some worry that bureaucracy may be getting in the way of a more rapid response. The problem is that it takes so much thinking, it takes so much funds, it takes so much effort that it's easier to fix what is in front of us, what is the most pressing, and let the bigger picture be put aside. The big picture, daunting for this worker on her very first day. Well, I mean, it's not something you want to read when you're starting in a new ministry. Hey, by the way, there's bats that may fly over your head. Uh, welcome to the office, I guess. The parliamentary secretary for the minister responsible is telling workers that this ongoing testing is supposed to help identify the problems so that they can fix them as quickly as possible. Amanda Pfeffer, CBC News, Ottawa.